Hello YouTube. A very interesting report was published in Russia yesterday. The aerospace forces of the Russian Federation conducted experiments in orbits with spacecraft of foreign states. This is stated in the publication of the Russian Defense Ministry, made on Tuesday, October 4, 2022, on the occasion of the 65th anniversary of the Space Forces. Special attention was paid by the specialists of the Main Space Situation Intelligence Center to monitoring the composition and condition of orbital groupings of foreign space systems, as well as conducting experiments in orbits with spacecraft of foreign states, the Russian Defense Minister explained. The report notes that this year more than 150 launches of foreign and domestic ballistic missiles and space, space missiles were defected by the on-duty means of the Russian missile attack warning system, specialized means of space control and missiles defense systems. In addition, the troops are actively working on commissioning the latest models of weapons, military and special equipment. Voronish new generation radar stations are on combat duty in Leningrad, Kaliningrad, Irkutsk, Orenburg regions, Altai, Krasnodar and Krasnoyarsk territories. War continues on the creation of new stations in Komi and the Murmansk region. So the Ministry of Defense recalled why the Day of Space Troops is celebrated on October 4th. On this day in 1957, the first artificial Earth satellite was successfully launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome or Space Port. According to the ministry, currently the space forces have become part of the Russian airspace forces. This branch of the army participates in what the Russians call the special operation in Ukraine and what the Ukrainians call war. I have more about Russian space forces and um, airspace forces and uh, the uh, activities in outer space that have been going on for quite a while and also how they detect an unidentified objects that approach our planet it's all very interesting and uh, i urge you to uh, keep your eyes on the outer space as well including the near orbit because there are a lot of things that are going on over there and uh, of course i'll cover as much as i can based on the open sources of course so thank you for your attention to my work if you can support my research, you'll find the links in the description to this video. And please uh, like my uh, video and subscribe to my channel and please tell others. Thank you.